Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a little fan art for you guys, and this is a My Neighbor Totoro fan art. I love this movie. I think it's such an amazing movie, and any movie by Miyazaki or um, Studio Ghibli is just amazing, and they're all so warm and fuzzy and heartwarming, and they're just really wonderful movies. And if you haven't seen much by them, I highly recommend Mine Over Totoro. I also recommend um, Spirited Away, Princess Mononoke. I really rec recommend <laughs> When Marnie Was There. That is a really, really good movie. And um, it makes you question a lot of things. And I cried watching that movie. But it was so good. And I heard that he was coming out of retirement um, to make another one. And then he's going to go back in retirement. Something like that. I heard that he was making another movie. And I am very excited. Um, and so for this, I sketched everything out on some Strathmore watercolor paper. Uh, this is the 400 series. It's supposed to be like the best paper that they carry. And it's pretty good. It's nice and thick. It holds water really, really well. And it's it actually is a lot better than the 300 series, which I am used to using. But um, I only have the 400 in this small paper, so I wish I had some larger sized in this. It's really good. But I sketched uh, everything out with a Pilot Color Eno pencil. It's in the soft blue color because I wanted just to, you know, make sure that it's easily coverable when I did the ink and the watercolor because if I used the purple it would kind of be too dark and I didn't want to smear the ink or anything and I actually let this dry the ink um, for like a day just you know you want to be careful when you're using inks and watercolor or Copic markers you always want to make sure it's completely dry before you apply any kind of you know anything on top of it like watercolor or markers anything like that so um, yeah, I used a Pentel brush pen for the black line work, and I love using the brush pen. I love how um, you can get so many varying line thicknesses with it. I just, I don't know, they're so nice. And I like how the Pentel brush pen has like actual bristles for the brush, and you can get some really cool textures out of that. And uh, what's funny is, I don't know why, but I forgot to draw his whiskers in until later on. I inserted a picture at the end, and I don't know how I forgot his whiskers. It's just crazy to me. But you can see on the whiskers how the brush gives it this really nice, I don't know, it kind of feathers at the end. I don't know. It's super awesome looking, and I love that, especially on watercolor paper. It's really easy to achieve on watercolor paper because I guess watercolor paper kind of has a tooth and texture to it and I just think it's really great to use on watercolor paper. It also to me seems to dry faster than on let's say like something smooth like Bristol board or cardstock something like that. Um, for the paints I use my Sakura Koi watercolors. I'm just going to continue to use these until they run out. Uh, so I wanted to draw Totoro because he's super, super adorable and he's just so cute and fuzzy and soft and I just want to hug him. And um, I just, I wanted to add some floral type of things because I love flowers and I love, you know, just the way they give a, I don't know, they give a certain look to art pieces and I love doing flowers and I love the way they look. I just need practice doing them. So that's why I added some flowers and stuff here and there. And then I also, like you've seen up top, added a few sit sprites. And uh, yeah, I think sits are so cute. I just want to hug them all. I wish I had a real life sit sprite. That would be cool. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I also got a new mic, if you did not notice. Uh, hopefully it's better than the last one I had. It was kind of messing up, so. I'm thankful that I got a new microphone. Yeah, hopefully my video setup will get better too. Hopefully I'll get some new lighting and stuff for like Christmas or whatnots. Because uh, it's kind of poopy. There's always like a shadow on one side because I only have like one lamp on the left side of the disc. But anyway, thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. 
And if you haven't already and you would like to be a part of this lovely art family, then you can go ahead and subscribe and we can become great friends and share our love for art together and just be happy. <laughs> and just, you know, stay positive, keep smiling, and don't let anyone's negative comments ruin what you love doing most. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned for the whisker picture because it's right after this. Can't believe I forgot that. Still have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.